And for today's tutorial, I'm finally going to show you how to get these faux freckles that I wore in my boho prom look. So with a couple makeup tools, you can get these really realistic freckles, and it's a lot of fun. And if you stay tuned till the end, you'll also get a makeup look that's just great for summer for everyone. But I did tailor it a little bit towards girls who might be a little bit more fair and want to wear less makeup and just enhance the freckles. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and sorry if you hear the fan, it's just really hot in here, but let's get started with the freckles. Starting with my bare face, clearly I'm a little bit more pale here, and I'm applying a thin layer of tinted moisturizer mixed in with Gerard Cosmetics BB Plus, and this just gives a really nice natural glow, and I really like to warm up my complexion when wearing fake freckles. It just looks more natural with more yellow undertones in the skin rather than red. I'm applying the product with an IT Cosmetics brush and I'm blending out with a damp beauty blender. As you guys can tell, I love my beauty blender and it's really great for skin products. And for a really natural flush, I'm using Makeup Forever Cream Blush and I love this product as well. It is so gorgeous and it really just blends into the skin, but it is quite expensive. So an alternative is the Maybelline Bouncy Blush. I really like those as well. And again, I'm using warm tones to suit the freckles. I'm stippling the blush on for a natural look and I'm adding some color to my chin and forehead for a healthy overall color to my face. This also works as a barely there foundation routine and for the freckles, the process is really easy and it's more about the product. I'm using rubber mask grease paint, I'm using two different shades and this is safe for the skin especially in such a small quantity that we're going to be using but always test the product on your arm to make sure that you don't have a reaction and the process is to use a little paintbrush, dot on a couple freckles I'm starting on my nose and as they're drying pat the product into the skin you can take the excess that's on your finger press it into surrounding areas for more faint freckles This looks really realistic and it just blends into the tinted moisturizer and looks like it's coming from under the product. It's a really cool method that I just came up with after trying some different products out. And as you can see, these look very faint. I'm using a very light shade and I'm going to go back in once I have placed the freckles where I want them and add in some more deeper freckles. I'm just going to keep on adding these speckles and the placement is up to you. I like them along the nose the most. Um, I actually have some very, very faint natural freckles that just come out with the sun sometimes so I modeled mine after that a little bit. And then I also add them up on my cheekbones and around my forehead. I picked the highest points of my face because sun brings out freckles but also add some random specks all over so it doesn't look too fake and it's up to you how many you want to do. I added quite a few to get a different look. After I've spent some time creating a bunch of freckles, I've just gone back in and looked at my face and I actually faded some of the freckles out along my cheeks with my beauty blender. But it's up to you and you can just do like a couple along your nose if you want to. This did take me a while to do a bunch of freckles but I wanted it to be convincing and show you guys what you can do with this product. Now it's time for concealer. You can skip this if you want to, you totally don't have to do this part but I do have some discolorations underneath my eyes. So I'm using my Cryolin concealer wheel. I mix the two lightest shades as always and instead of kind of painting it on as I usually would and blending it in with my finger or a brush. I'm just speckling the concealer, like stippling it, and then I am just breaking up the freckles down my cheeks a little bit. So it's like a highlight in the V shape, but very, very subtle and kind of broken up and natural like we did the blush. I also always brighten up my chin, Cupid's bow, nose a little bit, forehead and jawline just to give my face more dimension. But again, this isn't like the Kim Kardashian 
highlight and contour video. It's really just to break up the freckles and keep you looking healthy and fresh. Here I'm using a Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm gently setting the makeup. On to bronzer, I'm adding some powder bronzer in a three motion. So from my forehead to under my cheekbones, then later under my jaw and down my neck for a sun-kissed look and so everything really matches together. And you can also accentuate the freckles by dusting some bronzer over the freckled areas like onto the cheeks and onto the nose a bit. But I will say this won't look natural on everyone. Pay attention to your skin type. So I'm on the fair side, but I'm kind of the medium fair. And I do tan when I go out in the sun and get a bronzy look. So I've kind of matched that. But if you are on the more fair side, it can look out of place. So you definitely want to go light with the bronzer, if any. So there you have the full face of makeup and depending on your coloring, you want to define your brows. So if you are very fair, I prefer super light untouched brows, I think it adds to the natural look. Or you can add a full big brows if you already naturally have that going on. So I like to add mine as another defining feature. And at Gen Beauty I got some IT Cosmetics and I love their universal brow pen pencil I guess and it's really good. So as you can see just adding to my brows as always evening them out and adding the freckles really shows the width of my nose which I usually slim down so I add my brows a bit closer together to give the illusion of a slimmer nose bridge. If you want your brows to stay put then you can try out a brow gel and this will really keep the hairs in place. You can totally keep the brows more natural, but this is just my personal preference. And onto the eyes, prep the lids as always. And the first shadow I'm using is ploof all over my lid and into my inner corner. Into the crease, I'm adding Quarry by MAC, which is a neutral plummy brown on the skin. And I also drag the shadow underneath the lash line for some natural shading. Using a deep brown shadow, I'm using Brown Down for MAC, which is an awesome eyeshadow. I've been using it a ton since I got it. Fade this into your top lash line as eyeliner. And to deepen it up, you can go in with a brown liner pencil and dot along the lashes. And then you just want to curl those lashes and apply a light coat of mascara or a couple depending on what you like. Once the top and bottom lashes are coated how you like, the extra step would be to apply a brightening liner to the waterline. Usually I'd apply this before the mascara, but I just decided to add it on after, but it's easier to do it the other way around. And now for the lips, I'm going to show you three options, and I want you guys to let me know in the comments which is your fave look. The first option is going with a nude, and because the lips are pale, I've brought in a bit of a deeper tawny blush for more color, but that's up to you. And if you're a gloss girl, I went in with this peachy pink gloss from Buxom, and I love Buxom lip glosses. I actually lost a couple of mine recently, so I'm really glad that I got this one at Generation Beauty. Or go in with a long wear liner faded into the lips and I really like this red so let me know which one is your favorite again and I really hope you guys like this simple and easy makeup look for summer and have fun with these fake freckles. Thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up. 
Also check out the down bar. I always have all of the songs, all the products used, as well as my social media links. So follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram, and be sure to send me your questions. I'm finally doing my Jackie's Room series, so I'm filming my first one this weekend, and Burke will be joining me for part of it. So if you have any questions you'd like to see from a guy's perspective, be sure to ask me on Tumblr, Twitter, or in the comments down below, and I will screenshot all of them. And I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Please pop it if you break a heart, she turns cold as a fever. That fairy tale.